Hey, everybody. So, somebody asked me to discuss the pros and cons of learning with an online platform like Studio Web or going to college or university. There are pros and cons to each, and the path that you choose largely depends on your personal learning style and your circumstances. So let's quickly get to the uh, pros of university or college. You have a structure, you have set timelines and schedules, so you have to complete the project by set date. Uh, you have classes to attend to, so it forces you to, uh, to show up to actually learn. You have to go places to get to class. Again, a lot of, some people anyway, need that kind of structure to motivate themselves. And that's cool. I have to say, though, that if you do need that kind of motivation because it's boring to you, you might not enjoy the career as a developer as much as you think, right? Because you're not motivated. The people who have the most fun in whatever career that they pursue is something that they do on their own time because it's fun. When I was first learning to develop in the early 1990s, and when I got really hardcore into it, into the mid-90s, it was something that it was a hobby for me. I just liked doing it. It was just something I would do. Friday night, people would be like, oh, let's go party. And I'd be like, I'm, I'm writing some code here. I'm writing some code. I got this cool new messaging system I'm building here. And you know, sometimes I'd show up three hours late. Sometimes I wouldn't show up because I got caught up in the coding. I was really into it. And uh, because it was fun for me, it didn't feel like work. So hours would pass like this, and it was cool though, what happens in that situation, not only you're having fun, you're, you're, it's like a big puzzle that you're solving when you're writing code, it becomes extremely profitable because you get really good, you get really productive, all of a sudden your time is worth a lot more, you can charge a heck of a lot more as a freelancer, as a developer, it's really, really cool. So back to college. So the advantage of the college is they give you the structure that you need and they, uh, they lead you there nicely. The downside is that college can be extremely expensive. It does force a particular structure on you in the sense that you have to show up at particular times to go to class, you have to show up to get your exams, etc., etc. Some people don't like that. Some people would rather have the freedom. What happens if you're working full-time and you just don't have time to go to school, right? This is where the online classes like mine become extremely advantageous. Uh, just a little nerd note, uh, colleges and lots and lots of schools use Studio Web in their curriculum. So go to college and get the uh, added component that college provides and you can do Studio Web there or you can do it directly. What makes the Studio Web system unique out there, like unique out there in the world is the way it's structured, it's interactive, etc. It's like having a teacher sitting right beside you, teaching you, quizzing you, giving you instant feedback. Anyway, it's something we've developed over seven years with literally hundreds of thousands of students. We've refined everything that we do, including the software and the curriculum and the content that we provide. In terms of the learning experience with Studio Web versus college or university, with Studio Web is very much focused on the actual stuff that you need to actually move forward and produce real code, production code, is very much oriented towards the real world. Whereas a college, which could be beneficial, they provide a lot of supporting material around it. So you're going to go off in all these different directions. They're going to make you learn this, and make you learn this, and make you learn this, make you learn that. They give you a taste of everything. That's the point of college university is to give you, uh, to expose you rather to a whole bunch of different things and what you'll find though is you're only going to use a very small subset of what you're exposed to in university. In fact, you're going to learn a lot more afterwards probably in terms of job ready skills. Where Studio Web, I teach the core and that's huge, the foundation as you know, you need to have that to really learn this stuff properly. But because of my two decades of experience as a professional developer, I've selected the key components that you need in each of the languages, in each of the frameworks, in each of the, uh, well, the whole thing, to give you that solid foundation that you can launch into real-world coding. So with Studio Web, the downside, I suppose, is that you have to be a little bit self-disciplined. You have to 
teach yourself, you have to set schedules. It's focused on real world, so if you need to, if you feel like you want to explore all kinds of different things, you're not going to do it in Studio Web itself, but once again, if you learn the core and all this stuff is all out there for you, fairly well, cheap or for free. So it, it gives you that kind of flexibility. So college, structure, uh, a wider field of exposure, if you will, also in terms of the knowledge and that they present to you. Studio Web, much more flexibility, but you need discipline. And it's very focused on real world coding. It's very focused on getting you up and, up and running quickly so that you could actually make money with the code. And the reason it's structured that way is because that's how I did my coding. That's how I learned my coding. That's how I learned my programming. It was always, always there for me to use in production. I would learn a new language, a new framework, because I needed that to get a certain job done. Because I was always looked at myself rather as entrepreneur first, business person first, software developer second although a lot of my work was in software development. So those are pros and cons. Also, the obvious thing if you use Studio Web is much, much less expensive than going to college. And so I don't want to disparage colleges because I work with them and because for some, some college programs are fantastic. But at the end of the day, when you're looking at any type of course, whether it be in college, university, or online, at the end of the day, it's the quality and the knowledge of the teachers, the professors involved that will really make a big difference in terms of the overall learning experience. So if I were you in terms of whether I would choose to go to a college or to study web, look at your personal situation. Do you have lots of flexibility in terms of uh, your schedule, meaning you can, uh, you can allocate the time and show up and go to the classroom? Uh, do you need somebody to, to give you that structure and you want to take your time and sort of explore all kinds of different avenues and you got the money to spend, then you might want to do the college route. But if you want something that's uh, flexible, something that you could work on the weekends or at nights, maybe you're a stay-at-home mom, maybe you work at a factory and you want to learn this while you're still earning and you're learning, earning a living, you don't want to get into debt, especially student loan debt. I warn against student loan debt. It's the worst debt you could possibly find yourself in. So don't let yourself get into that. At the end of the day, though, the more you learn, the more effort you put into learning, whether it be one of my, my resources online or a book or a college course or t private tutoring, it's all going to help. It's all going to help. You have to choose what's better for you based on the things I just discussed. I hope this is useful. And uh, we shall talk soon.